What's up guys, Dub here, and we got a brand new game mode for you here this time. This one is called Safeguard. Um, basically, it's kind of like an old school Defend the President or MVP kind of thing. Um, depending on if you want to go back to the old like 007 or Halo or whatever you want to call it. Um, but in this game, we are going to be uh, basically escorting and protecting a robot. Now you can see, um, I like to call him Chappie. Because, you know, Chappie uh, from the movie. It's a pretty, pretty bad movie, but uh, it was just a good name for it. It just seems nice and fair. Um, Chappie's a nice guy. He just he's just misunderstood. But anyways, um, this game mode, as you can obviously tell, is a 6v6. Um, it's kind of a you get him across the map on a pre-designated route once. Found. And then on the other side, the uh, other team tries to defend. The and then you guys flip and do the same thing. Face. So you can see at this point the uh, robot is actually almost all the way through the uh, base on their team, and I'm co obviously I'm coming in at kind of like an odd time, but um, yeah, just in all, it's kind of a very interesting new game mode. I like it. Um, it would be very interesting to see if this would end up being in competitive. Obviously, we would see uh, 3v3 and stuff like that. But, yeah, I mean, as the old game modes, like if you're playing uh, President or MVP or whatever the case may be, basically you shoot him to make him weak. Um, except the difference in this one, you can't just completely kill him. You just shoot him to make him weak once his health goes down to zero. He goes down and reboots. Now, um, it's a very interesting bit. I mean, basically how it works is it's one run all the way if you, you either win or fail. So you restart, flip sides, either you win or fail. And then the third, like, the third time, if it has to go into overtime, it goes based off of time. So, do you finish it in five minutes? Do you fail? Pretty, pretty easy, easy stuff, right, guys? Not too hard. I almost fell off there. That's cool. But, yeah, I mean, we're going to see, um, as you can see, it's about minute 47, and he is a whopping, like, uh, 20 feet away from it. And, uh, he was... One of our or one of their guys is right there. It's lucky we got that because uh, he would have walked right in right there. But anyways, um, yeah, I mean it's a pretty cool little game mode. I'm happy they're bringing something new. And this is just the bit. I'm assuming there's probably two or three new modes that we're going to be dealing with. Um, obviously can't confirm in any way, shape, or form. It's just a hope. But yeah, I mean I'm pretty excited to see some cool new stuff. And uh, I'm happy that they're bringing this to it. Um, now, the one thing that I do have is the... I mean, I guess it's not a problem. It makes it fair, obviously. But just the fact that the... Lanes, I guess, would be the path, the word. The, the routes that the robot takes are the same exact routes on every single map. Um, not doesn't matter. There's not a way that you can be like, okay, left, right, center. Um, because, I mean... And I, I, that makes sense, Spotted because then you couldn't, you know, hey, what's the best route? Oh, we're going to go this way. The game designers pre-designed a path that's going to be easy in some spots, hard in others. Like, for example, if this path through the house, if you can get him to the house, oh, I mean, 15 seconds to get him through. Um, whereas, you know, this section we're at right now, super hard. And the section that's between the house and the hunter's cabin, hard. I mean, it, it takes forever to get them to it. But, um, I mean, just in general, it's how they did it is pretty cool. I mean, like I said, some people are going to make the complaint of, hey, why don't we do it? Um, like, hey, there's three paths. You can turn left, center, or right. Left, center, or right. Or, you know, whatever the case may be. But at the same time, the designers did it the way they wanted to make sure it was nice and fair. So you guys are going to see, that was defense. Um, I came in late in the game, probably about two minutes late, I believe. Uh, so you guys are going to see what it looks like fully on this side. The reason I chose the LMG, guys, is because on the pushing, there's going to be a lot of sitting back and waiting. So yeah, I'm just going to be uh, finding a spot and waiting there, I guess. That's how the offensive goes. Um, it's actually kind of the same way on the defense as well, but oh well. Um... But yeah, so we have, and sorry about the notifications at the top, guys, I am streaming at this point in time. So, yeah, there's going to be notifications. 
Um, but yeah, so basically you guys are going to be seeing the route that uh, he's taking right now. He's going up through the top, or sorry, on the he starts down the back, goes up through the stairs, the steps, and then he goes around through the house and back. The fastest route? Not by any means. Is that the route he takes? Oh yeah. But yeah, you're going to see um, how long it takes, I mean... This run is actually pretty damn quick, surprisingly enough. But you're going to see in like comparison how long it takes. So he okay, we got him there. This is the part where it usually takes a while. Um, if it wasn't for me already suppressing their team back quite a bit, they would not be able to stop us. But this part right here that we get them through is usually takes about a minute and a half, two minutes just in general. Once you get him in the house, easy squeezy. You're going to see I'm just kind of babying him across. Um, yeah, easy squeezy. They're all over here on the right. I'm running right. Oh, there they are. They're starting to defend already. Right. But yeah, a pretty easy stuff, guys. Nothing too wild. This gameplay is a pretty short gameplay. We do obviously win this one. Um, <laughs> there are three minutes just to push to the final section. Um, he cannot be pushed back is the other important part. Basically, even if you sacrifice your ass, if you can get him another five feet. You know, that's a W. I mean, how these guys never saw me is kind of retarded. But, um, UAV, yeah, I mean, you know, it's pretty simple stuff, guys. Um, like I was saying earlier, I'm really excited for new game modes. And this is just one of the many things he can be doing. You can see I'm actually getting late. Basically just sacrificing my ass to get closer. Um, oh, actually, what do we get on this care package? I don't remember this care package. See, I do have engineer on so we like reroll if it's not something I want. Oh, I think I get uh, third strike, lightning strike. That's what it is. That's right. And we're just gonna dump it all over them, all over their faces. Um, but yeah, I mean, obviously I'm using an LMG. You guys might probably hate because of that. But fuck it, I don't give a shit. <laughs> um, the LMGs in this one actually, I mean, they're the same good as they like LMGs usually are. Um, but they're not really good at all. Uh, this is really, I feel, it's, even in this map, it's a really like kind of longer range map. I really feel like this is a, a short range, like short range gun kind of game. You're using lots of SMGs, uh, quick assault rifles, stuff like that. LMGs are not going to really do that hot. That's one of the reasons snipers are so bad in this game. Though. They just do not cut the cake. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this gameplay. I just want to show you the new game mode called Safeguard. You're safely guarding a robot that dies a lot. Um, there should be a bonus multiplier based on how many times he actually dies. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'll be expecting lots more of gameplay on my channel there's gonna be a lot of stuff i am actually going on vacation actually when you guys are watching this i will be on vacation but uh so it's gonna slow down for a little bit but then it'll come right back up so anyways guys i'll see you later peace